Veterans Helping Veterans is our mission because we are Warfighter Made. All right, man, what's next? So let's uh, tear down all the suspension, get it all prepped and ready for the Total Chaos Kit. We're gonna remove the shocks, then we can do upper control arms, the whole spindle will come off, and then the lower control arm. All ready. the tools are ready. Break. So when these warfighters go out to go ride, the last thing they wanna worry about is getting there and coming back. We're gonna have to tear the front suspension off. We need good suspension on this thing, so if he goes off, off highway to go wherever he's riding, it, it handles properly. Do new wheels, tires, Tell me when it's good for you, Dom. Uh, right there's good. So we'll take off this bottom bolt that's holding the actual shock on, and then up here there's three 14 millimeters. You take all those off and the shock drops down. Before the Marine Corps, I learned the paint side of it and the restoration side of vehicles. I do know how to weld and, and fabricate to a point and how to cosmetically finish it and how to finesse vehicles and stuff like that. So I know basic mechanic work and fabrication. All these will come off too. All the brake line stuff. So there's a tip. Oh, because you want to hang it over here. Yeah, we're going to hang the whole brake caliper off. Just make sure you leave slack in the brake line. You don't want to put a lot of tension on it. I love like uh, old cars, classic cars. Um, I can definitely, uh, you know, I've rebuild my own motors and you know, helped uh, add them out with a lot of stuff. So, you know, I love being down here. It's definitely therapy for me, so. You hit this actual knuckle with a hammer. It'll loosen everything up. Don't miss and hit the threads. Does that make you nervous? <laughs> <laughs> We're into this build a little over two months. Uh, we invited Jesse to the shop today. Come down, give us uh, his feedback and input and see what we can do from there. We got the bed hinged up. We have the frame done on, the, uh, on all the compartments. Now it's just you know making the little compartments and organizing it to where we need to put things and whatnot. So what I bring to the table is I'm double leg amputee and I have a lot of expertise in riding, growing up riding. You know, it's kind of a pain after a long moto to be able to, uh, you know, kind of take all your stuff and just throw it in the back of your truck. This will be a lot better for guys to be able to just go put their stuff in an easier place to get it. It'll be on shocks, obviously. It'll lift itself up once you unlatch it, hold itself up. We are thinking LED lights under here, maybe even under here and in the compartment so you can have individual lighted compartments. And lights up here, you know, you could light your bike up or the seat up when you're putting your gear on if you happen to be getting back late from a night ride or whatever the case may be. Other side could be tools, um, and then everything else to work on your bike, stage the bike, get ready to ride. Has there been any problems with the truck that you've came across so far? Building a whole custom bed was a little more difficult than I thought. So this whole frame we had to build from scratch. And then the hinging part, as far as clearance issues, so the fender didn't contact any part of the bed, or the frame or the structure, was pretty difficult. So it took a few dozen tries to, you know, articulate, put back down, articulate, to finally find a position where everything moved where it needed to be. Total chaos, upper and lower A-arms, Fox coil overs, and uh, bypasses, and we're ready to go. You'll be able to go anywhere from the street at 80 miles an hour to uh, a desert or a dirt bike track with a gravel road and, and still at 80, keep, at 80 miles an hour. If you really want, but yeah. Will it help keep the bike and everything stable on the back? Absolutely, I mean, you're gonna have a more plush ride front and rear, uh, keep the bike from bouncing out depending on how big of hits, you know, jumps and whatever you hit, but it's a good all around kit and it's gonna be perfect for this build. So the headlights I'm pretty stoked about because Julio at SRT Creations, who's an army vet, stopped by, grabbed the headlights, put diode dynamic LED lights in them. Look, they got a logo. Warfighter made, that's sick. Put the Warfighter made logo on the projector beam and everything. Time is getting tight on this build, but I feel confident we'll get it done. For more on the Toyota build, check this out.